Hi guys, welcome. Today I am going to bake with you guys a vanilla rainbow cake. And today the good stuff is actually inside of the cake. Well, always the good stuff is inside of the cake, but the actual pretty part is inside of the cake. Hey guys, so here it is, my favorite vanilla cake recipe. I got this recipe from the Confetti Cookbook by Elisa Strauss. It is my favorite vanilla cake and um, the one that I use most of the time because it's really, really good for carving and it tastes really good. And today I'm going to show you how to make that into a rainbow cake. So first thing, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You will need three eight inch round cake pans, buttered and lined with parchment paper. Do what I say, not what I do, because I'm going to actually make a recipe and a half because I wanna get more uh, cakes. But this recipe I find is really good with three round eight inch cake pans. Um, Elisa Strauss suggests you do it with uh, nine inch cake pans, but I like a little bit more height. So, but either one will do. So I'm gonna start. We need eight ounces of all-purpose flour. Another eight ounces, but this time, cake flour. And see what I'm doing? I'm going to sift everything. In a mixing bowl. In total, we need a pound. Eight ounces of cake flour, eight ounces of all-purpose flour. That's 16 ounces now need baking powder. We are going to use two and a quarter teaspoons. One, two, and a quarter. And three quarters of salt. Half. Sift, sift, sift. Or set the bowl aside. And now to the stand-up mixer bowl and here I am going to mix the butter and the sugar. I will need, uh, believe it or not, I go through this like nobody business. More sugar, more sugar. I need 21 ounces of granulated sugar. And two sticks of butter. Make sure that the butter that you use is unsalted because we added salt, so you don't want that much salt. So, and make sure you use a paddle attachment. And we're going to stir, we're going to mix the butter and the sugar until it is nice and fluffy. Okay, now we need one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Make sure you use good quality stuff. And now egg whites. You can use regular eggs to separate and use only the egg whites. It'd probably be about seven or eight, um, but I am going to use the already separated egg whites and it's going to be eight ounces. Now we need whole milk. Yes, it has to be whole, and you want 12 ounces of that. Easy there, that's whole milk. Now I'm gonna add the dry ingredients. I'm gonna add half of my dry ingredients, then I'm going to add half of my milk, then the other half of the ingre dry ingredients, and the last half of my milk. And then I'm gonna Mix it, whip it. Be good. Um, at high, medium, high speed for about 20 seconds.
Now you want to divide the batter evenly into three bowls and I will leave the amount of food coloring up to you. That's why I don't like give specific, I don't like to give specific measurements for the food color because um, I like to use gel pastes, but I know uh, a lot of people have the liquid form. So the liquid take, you need a lot more of the liquid than you do of this one. So, and it's also iron. So it depends on what, how bright you want your cake to be. I'm not going to make mine very bright. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. That's like an eighth of a teaspoon or less. And I'm actually gonna start with less because I don't want it to be too intense. It's just a little bit. And now purple. My cakes are out of the oven. It took the seven inch round cakes, it took about 35 minutes. So your eight inch round cakes are gonna take about 45 minutes. If you're making the nine inch, it'll be more like 55 to an hour. So they have been sitting here for a bit. I will now flip them over, cover them with some plastic wrap and put them in the fridge so that they are cool so I can slice and shape and get them ready to be crumb coated. The cakes are in the fridge. I'm gonna leave them there overnight. I'm gonna go to sleep because it's super late and I'm super tired and we will finish this in the morning. Okay, fresh new day. I got some sleep. I got showered, I'm cleaned up, and I'm ready to go. So now, the next step in a rainbow cake is to make the frosting. You guys can check out my Swiss meringue buttercream recipe or the EC American buttercream recipe, or you can use your favorite recipe. In this video, I am not going to go into the details of the buttercream. Um, because I went into the details of the recipe, but I'm gonna just do that and we'll take it from there. My buttercream is ready and I have saved a good amount to frost it with and pipe and whatever decorations I want, but I have separated just a little bit of what I think I will need. And it's better to use less at this point than more because you can always color your white one any color, but you can't take the color out of the one that you already mixed. So, this is how it's gonna work. This is the easiest way for me to make a rainbow cake because instead of baking six different layers of six different colors of cake, we have three different colored cakes and we will have two different colors of buttercream. So we're gonna have to, to, to make the buttercream nice and thick in between and then when you cut it, it's gonna be a perfect rainbow. The rainbow! Cake pink, buttercream yellow, cake green, buttercream blue, cake purple. So I will color this batch green, this batch blue. Then I am going to start putting together my cake. I'm gonna do, I'm going to start with a purple and stack them up this way. And, and you'll see how it goes, so. I forgot to add the vanilla. Okay. 
Okay, I am actually going to cover this with saran wrap. I'm going to put it in the fridge so that it's so that it comes more solid, and then I'm going to cut off the car caramelization from the edges, and then make it a clean and smooth cover. So when you cut the slices, they will look so pretty. So, fridge. Okay, the cake is now firm, chilled, and I am going to just carve out, make sure it looks perfect in all the sides, and then I will frost it. Okay, guys, the cake is out of the fridge. It is nice and firm, so um, I decided not to carve anything out because there's no real caramelization around it. It looks really nice, and the colors are bright throughout. So now, that's it for the rainbow cake. I will now frost it with some Swiss meringue buttercream and then I will cover it in fondant. Okay guys, so now my, by now, my cake should be nice and cool. I have my board ready, I have decorations made, and now it's time to cover it in fondant. Or you can just leave it with buttercream if you'd like. A rainbow and I have some clouds that I had previously made and and that's it I think I'm gonna decorate with some clouds put a little ribbon at the end and see how it looks oh, if you guys want to see how I made the rainbow and the clouds you can check out my my video on how to make a rainbow an edible rainbow okay I am going to give it sort of a border that looks like clouds okay guys this is it this is the super easy vanilla rainbow cake Thank you so much for watching and I appreciate all your comments. Thank you for letting me know what you guys think. And this is thanks to one of you guys who asked for a vanilla cake recipe. So this is a, my favorite vanilla cake recipe. I hope you guys give it a try. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys here again next week. Bye.